Hi, I'm Sanzi Peeps. Today I wanted us to look at the reasons why I think the Dia is on a self-destructive path. The Dia is the only party that could have unseated the NC, but because of their hatred for the EFF, they refuse to see that without the EFF there is no removal of the NC. The Moon Pact would have been a good idea if it had the EFF in it. Dia is on a self-destructive path. They have lost a long list of prominent, influential leaders who are roping in black voters. Some of these leaders includes people like Lindu, Mamfella, Herman and Musi. In fact, Musi was just an experiment to see if they could persuade black voters to join the party, but that did not work because truth is that the Dia doesn't care about correcting the past injustices of apartheid. Herman was pushed out before he could even finish his term because he worked with EFF to implement some of the resolutions that benefited the black majority like to have the clinics open for 24 hours and things like employment of security cards by the municipality instead of having labor brokers landings these employees to the municipality while paying them peanuts without any benefits like medical aid and pension funds. Herman who is now the leader and founder of Action as a might be a capitalist but he cares about people and he has the emotional intelligence to separate his emotions from the party attitude to doing what is best for his people, talking about emotional intelligence. John the leader of the DIA has declared the EFF public enemy number one. Like how do you make the EFF number one when it doesn't even enjoy half of the votes that the DIA got in the last elections? The way I see it is that the EFF is guilty of wanting equality for all South Africans. Julius has always made it clear that he will never fight for white people because truth is that they already have everything they need and from where black people stand, they are very privileged. The DIA by declaring the EFF as the number one enemy it means, they see everyone who is an EFF potential voter as their enemy. The word is very strong and it has a lot of hate and disgust. In fact, what I think they should be doing is trying to understand why is the EFF growing, more than anything why some white people vote for the EFF. With that information they could try to find a sweet spot and meet the black voter halfway. Oh I forgot they already tried that when they appointed Musi who also broke away and started his own party Bosa. The DIA has effectively pushed the EFF to the ANC and this moon pact is going to force the EFF and the ANC to perform a coalition in 2023. Between these two parties there is over 51% needed to form a government. Nobody wants to see the ANC returning to power next year but it is going to happen because of Helen and John but I also put blame on those who got into this pact like how could they not see that these numbers don't add up. Anyway, those are my thoughts, so please leave your comment and let's hear what is your take on this and don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. See you next time.